Daddy, you go crazy. So, you know, after Lil Dirk, you know, dropped the album and that um, you know, that that line came out. Um, it was reported shortly thereafter that your jaw was broken when you was locked up when you was locked up in Cook County Jail. So that was false as well. Come on, DJ. Because it definitely don't look like your shit been broke. Shorty, you know, I got a million dollar smile, folks. <laughs> oh my deal, you shorty. <laughs> Who so the fuck broke? So did, did you get into a fight or something? DJ, you and look, this, this interview. Look, this me, me and the man looking at each other in the face. Eye, man to man. <laughs> on my dead homie, nigga. On, on, on my mama that's living right now, nigga. On Jesus Christ. On my daughter. On JC, nigga. On all my kids, nigga. I ain't getting not one altercation, not one fight in jail at all, shorty. Every deck I went on, everybody was showing love to me. I had one altercation that was with the nigga THF Bezu, and we went to court together for on January 13th. And we wasn't even in each other's face. I was in the bullpen. He was coming back from court. He was in Division 11. So, you know, when you come back from court, y'all got your own, your own bullpen because when y'all get on court, they got to put y'all back in the bullpen and go to Division 11. So, when he coming in, he see me. I mean, you know me. I mean, I'm trolling. I mean, yo, bitch ass nigga. Woo, BDK. Woo, he shorty. Do you know what you in here for on BD? You know my. I, he kept walking. I'm all right. On for him. Say less. On for him. But I had that. That's the only little time I had any little woo. Other than that, on oh, folks, I was no problem. Any that I went on, my jaw ain't get broke. They talking about I had shit thrown on me. I heard that from folks. My hoes telling me this. They they on that time. I was just on the phone with you this morning. You you, you got shit thrown on me. Hell no. Nah, Right, I ain't think you did. Next day, I had the, the video visit my people. Hey, man, y'all don't like you, bro, bro. What the fuck? Why they trolling? They trolling. Because they know I can't speak up for myself. Y'all know if y'all post something right now with Fendi Boy in it, especially when I'm locked up, that shit gonna do views, gang. You can post right now. Fendi Boy just got his ass beat by three guards. He just got shipped to Atlanta, Cook County. Jail. That bitch gonna do a damn 500k views by the next morning, gang. On false grade. Like, this, this, shit, this shit trickery now. It's walkie for That's why I don't give a fuck about the internet. On false grade. You see how me and folks on the internet right now, on the interview right now? After we leave the interview, I could take folks saying, the whole time he gave it to me just to hold it. I, I could take folks, get folks saying, go on the internet. Like, yeah, man, I just took that bitch that nigga chain that was on the interview with me, man. We'll tell him to get, get his shit back. Woo. Whole time, he really know what happened. What happened? You let me see that bitch. On false grade. But the internet, take that bitch and run with it. So I really give a fuck about the internet no more, gang. I ain't gonna lie, folks. On false grade. I really care, folks. Okay, so let me ask you this, though. Going back to the accusations, what? Uh, what gave the police probable cause to make an arrest and charge? It wasn't probable for? cause. It was. And if the arrest, that's why it's so crazy. Because I said this. Oh, though, you can ask for them. I said this. I said I want them to release my arrest video. I told everybody that in front of me. My steady all of my man. I want them to release my shit because they didn't have probable cause to arrest me. And even the judge said that in court. Like my third court day, they was like, um, okay, what's going on here? Because when I went to bond court, they was like, uh, well, the type of case that he that he that, that he's charged with is it's a no bond case. The state before I brought my judge, they was like, where you're honest, there's no evidence of case. She said, I don't care what well, is done with this. Woo -woo. So three week, like three months later, when I went to court, my judge like, well, um, it's saying here that you guys had no contempt to arrest. What was the probable cause for arrest? The state was like, it wasn't a probable cause, Your Honor. They did a, 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 a IA, which is an investigator alert. Now, what a investigative alert is when you they, they can't detain you, but they can pull you in. It's same as you walk on the street and the detective walk up on you like, man, you got a investigative alert. You got to talk, talk to the text. That's when you got to talk to the text. So they like, man, you got to talk to the text. I'm like, what I got to talk to the text for? Ooh, they just got to talk to them. It's going to be a couple hours. I'm like, all right, bet. They tell me to talk to the text. For why the fuck I'm in that bitch like six, seven hours. I'm bugging up. I'm, oh, I'm still here. I'm false. So now they come back. The text is talking to me. The, some, some ladies text. They're like, um, we're going to have to send you to the county and, and uh, you know, I'm being charged with it. It's just we have to take, take the county rule just to make sure you don't flee the, flee the scene because I do have a escape with my background, shorty. In 2014, I was on house arrest and I took my band off on folks. So um, and, um, instead of them just telling me, like, I get an eyeball and then they, I just have my court dates come, they held me, shorty, for that. Because they was like, you could be a escape. If, if you did do it, you could, you could escape. So we got to hold you on folks. So they held me all the way until they got the red kiss and shit back in. And they been had the red kiss in, in January, shorty, when, DCF, I mean, when DCFS closed the case out. The state just kept holding me, shorty. So my lawyer went into that shit with the judge and was like, man, why is he still here? Either you let him go or you let us know you want to try. Judge was like, I don't see no problem causing him even still being locked up. Let him go. You guys don't have nothing by, by next court date. I'm throwing it out. On false enough, you feel me? But it wasn't no probable cause. They did an investigative alert. That's what they sneak you into trying to get you locked up, short. You know about that shit? On false grade. That's what an investigative alert. If y'all look my shit up, it wasn't no problem. The judge didn't sign up on no warrant or none of that shit on game. Bro. I was still at the same crib. I was at my baby mama crib, game. If I knew it was a warrant, why the fuck would I be at my baby mama crib? They caught me going to get my kids from school. I didn't run the shit. That's why I said I want them to release the scene. Y'all gonna see me boiling up on their own folk. Y'all see I'm out running the shit. Why the fuck? Investigate alert. Oh man, y'all, if y'all ain't got no warrant, don't touch me. On false, don't touch me. It took my grandma gang for me to get in that car on folks crazy. And they wouldn't put no handcuffs on me or nothing. Cause they knew they couldn't get me in the car gang. Y'all don't have no warrant. I was bugging them on their ass. On they got they ain't had no price. They had tased and shit out. On folks, I mean I got tased that bitch. I ain't gonna lie on gang. Y'all took my daughter right here, my baby mama right here. I'm gonna get my other kids for y'all ain't got so no they warrant. Came to the house. Yeah, they was like they was like eleven cars deep, gang. 
I'm talking about some, we seen you go in the morning, but we didn't see you come out on front of We waited for you. Well, that's what they told me when I got to the station. On G. On folks now. Okay. So. But I boiled up on that till for my grandma to tell me, like, man, just, 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 it's only going to be a couple hours. Go, go there. So I so, went there. So, so, let's unpack, my man. so let's unpack the arrest real quick. You say 11 cars pulled up to the It was crib. like 11, 10. Not, 11 no exaggeration about, cars. like, no, nah, they was regular cars. They was in regular unmarked cars. They was regular and dressed in regular clothes. Some of them was already standing out, the, like, they knew I was going to come out that time on folks yeah. now. But they was in unmarked cars. They wasn't no dick. I would have seen them come out, folks. I would have seen them when I was coming out the door. On folks, when they was when they I, when I got to the end of the car, they rushed me short, and it was like all cars just pulling up. But they was unmarked cars, Nissan's and shit. On folks. So that means somebody went to the police and told them that you. Was no, they sexual? they made it seem like they made it seem like they was watching me already. This okay, happened. This is what I'm trying to get at, bro. What made them come arrest you for sexual assault charges? Like, you know what I'm saying? They That's made they I'm made it seem like they wanted to take me in for questioning. They had nobody else on the case. They wanted to take me in for questioning. I never went to go talk to them folks. So when they wound up did coming and get me to bring me in for questioning, when I got done talking to them, that's when they was like, well, you're the only person on this case that's being, that the fingers are being pointed at. We got to lock you up for this. And you have a, a skip on your background, so we can't just let you go. Okay. But they, they, the case, this happened like three months after. Like, the case came in June. They didn't lock me up to September. But they never had no warrant, so I didn't go to see them. You know what I'm saying, folks? You get know what I'm saying for real? No, you know what I'm saying? I never went to see them. But they wound up, must have been watching us and wound up coming to get me and to talk to me on folks. And when they did that shit, that's when they was like, well, we're going to keep you short. Right. On folks. Cool. Now, uh, But they wasn't supposed to do that, bro. Even my lawyer said that's against the law. They can't, hey, hey, for everybody watching this shit, on folks, if y'all get pulled, if they come to y'all and tell y'all it's an investigative alert, y'all not supposed to go with them. On folks, do not go with them. Y'all not supposed to go with them. They don't got no warrant, gang. On right. folks. DJ, you go crazy!